Hey guys, Quicksilver Gaming here, bringing you another episode of Ultimate General American Revolution. This is episode 14 of our Let's Play. If you haven't seen episode 1, I'll put a link in the top right hand corner. Highly advise that episode, especially if you're a newer player. I go through a lot of the beginning phases, almost like a tutorial. Um, anyways, we are at June 18th of 1776. The Free Artisans of Massachusetts are still donating large sums of money to us, grabbing a couple more officers, which is fantastic. But we have a plan here. And that plan, well, it is to attack Fort St. Chambly. Because there, there's just a few too many British and Canadians up over there. So we have a very large force moving out into, into this area. And I think... Ooh, they, they might be retreating a little. They might be realizing they're in a... They are in a little bit of a predicament here. I don't know why Turner was struggling to move around. I am moving forces out and about. I do have to pay attention to Burlington in Port St. John's when I do move my forces out to attack. It looks like they're spreading their forces between Fort St. Chambly and Montreal, which in all honesty just makes this attack a little bit easier. Um, I, I will mention I've done a little bit off camera and we have had like four battles of Portsmouth. I just didn't want to continuously show off the same battle over and over again. I feel like we've already had 16 battles of Portsmouth on this channel, so that was probably 20. Also, as far as our fleet, this is what our fleet currently looks like. So we have a first rate, three third rates, uh, three fourth rates, and a fifth rate, and then we've mothballed or sold the other ships. Uh, so I did, I did essentially go up through the coast with all of our with our fleet from the last episode, clear out all the British, capture a couple things here and there, and then bring our fleet back and then uh, kind of do a little rest and refit. So over here, this is a absolute monstrous army. And what I will probably do is move this army out and then take one of these regiments and move it to Fort St. John because Fort St. John has a minor problem of its loyalty sucks. <laughs> and... Uh, there's not a lot of ways to fix that. We are actually losing a lot of men um, from desertion here. So we're just going to start moving out on Fort uh, St. Chambly. And then Flax, you are going to go over here. I would really love to, to get some garrison, or not garrison, some brigades going. But that's going to be an absolute mess trying to get all of that working going into Fort St. Chambly. Maybe we can... You know, brigade up you guys, brigade up you guys, you guys brigade up and just kind of grab all of this. I don't really want all of that. We have reinforcements. I really don't want reinforcements. This is like, this is where the army, organiz or army organization is absolutely terrible. Uh, that'll bring flax into it. That's perfectly fine. So we'll take this battle. This should be a massacre. Wow, they're militia. They, their militia is awesome. That They have five regiments plus a cannon. I, I really want our militia... I, I would love to have more, more regiments in the militia. I think that would be really cool and a feature I would really like to see in the future. They do have three regiments missing cannon. They do have one regiment with double cannon. Seems to be uh, a feature. I, I have heard on the Discord that they will try and squash this. That it should only be one cannon per per regiment so i guess that really only means two regiments don't have a cannon when you think about it this way but let's take this battle this will be massive we'll we'll take some major casualties but hopefully we deal a lot of damage okay guys on the battlefield this is a great example of why we need some sort of deployment zone unfortunately this is just a complete mess and the units are kind of like merged onto each other so it's um Kind of, kind of difficult to figure out what the heck I'm doing over here, to be honest. And I think those are reinforcements. So hopefully the British don't pressure us too fast early so we can get somewhat organized. Um, I, I feel like the devs made a mistake in making this a company level game on the tactical map. 
I very much feel like this should have probably been a regimental level game on the tactical battle map. Um, I, I'm probably going to stick with that pretty hard, um, just because you recruit your units at a regimental level, so why, why, why would you do it different? Um, I, I get that, like, you recruit companies within those regiments, but that's fine. That just makes your, your whole regiment larger. Uh, that, that's my thought process here. Um, let me know what you guys think. I would love to know if you guys agree with that, that thought process, uh, that this game should have probably been regimental level as opposed to company level on the on the can um tactical battle map i think that would i think that makes a lot of sense to me i don't know if other people agree with that though but um it's man this is just an absolute atrocious mess and i don't really i don't really know what's going on here and i i'm just kind of hoping that i can deploy my guys, it, I, I can't even move the lines correctly at this point because of how how many troops are on the battlefield. Like you, you guys have probably seen me struggle to move those lines often. I've I've reported it on. Wow, we have a wound already. I've reported it in the in the Discord, but it doesn't seem like it got much traction at all. Um, okay, so let's try and figure out something over here. I mean, you can see I'm still struggling to figure out what the heck is going on with this army, what I've got on the army. Um, these large battles are really cool to see, but I don't think um, the British are going to hit hit our try and hit our flanks. So that's that's going to be interesting. We we badly need. To push more men over here and these are just militia on our right flank so our right flank might be in a little bit of trouble uh, when all is said and done but that's let's continue trying to push out men can you guys not turn no 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 shoot please okay uh yeah that's that's problematic over here so this artillery i need you to move up over here and then you guys can move up like so. And then we need these guys to move up over here. Grab you guys. Okay, they're charging some more. So let's, let's grab these militia. Charge on in. And then grab these guys. Push forward. And then I think we are starting to, to develop our defensive line. It's starting to look... A little bit more. They've routed that artillery. That's a little obnoxious. Um, and then these guys are flanked. Can you guys not... And then they're taking friendly fire. Need you guys to retreat out of there, please. Those guys are captured, so that's great. Okay, I really badly need you guys to not show your flank to the enemy. That is really important, please. So, get out of there get out of there and then those guys are captured so yeah the british hitting hitting over here this line i i swear the the lines are really difficult to draw in this game compared to ultimate general civil war and i don't know what the difference is it's really really hard to put my finger on it it's just really hard to get a line that looks even remotely good Okay, over here, we are wavering. These these battles look like they are pretty pretty insane. They're routing. Can can Arnold come over here? Yeah, we have we have multiple holes to fill. Um, okay, let's push you guys up like so. You guys probably need to push up over here. Grab them. We have a captured unit in the middle of the British. That's interesting. Uh, that's not how artillery is supposed to deploy. Okay, those guys are retreating. Need them to get back in the game. And then, let's see. Can we can we get a nice... If you notice, too, like, the line when you draw it, 
it's really wobbly so uh, really interesting how they've how they've done the lines they were so much more beautiful in the american civil war version and i hate to keep saying like in the american civil war version but You'd think that a development studio would go forward instead of backward with certain things like that. That's just, um, I mean, that's how I, how I feel about it. I, I feel like they went a little bit backwards in a couple regards there. Okay, so you guys get back on your cannons, please. Over here, I need you guys to, let's, let's put a couple guys like so. I mean, the British aren't really defending a fort at this point. They're just you know, attacking, <laughs> uh, coming out of the fort and attacking me and pinning me in this corner, so my camera angles kind of, kind of suck too, which is really unfortunate. Can we, can we start enveloping like that? That would be great. Um, the more we can do that, the better, and then let's continue pushing, pushing men behind the cannons. Uh, the, the super wobbly lines, as I like to, to kind of poke fun and call them at the moment. Where's, um, where's Arnold? There you are. Okay, you guys get back on your cannons, please. And then, can you guys actually move up properly? Alright, that's, uh, that's not going well over here. So you guys need to get out of there. And then, we'll make you guys friends. Um, yep. You guys will become friends just so you're proper. Wow, our, our artillery, you can see, has taken quite a big beating, but there is some there are some silver linings here, as you can see. Ooh, uh, man. Whoa, 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 not what I wanted. Okay, yep. Push up, shattered. Hopefully the skirmishers can hit hit that artillery a little bit better and then we'll keep moving forward this um this army is really going to take a beating let's see where does arnold need to be over here let's have you guys kind of move up move up over here continue continue shifting up if we can if we can continue our shift that that would be great move you guys down here more artillery leaving their guns, kind of, uh, it feels like it's to be expected at the moment. And let's see if we can kind of, uh, encircle the British. Hopefully, hopefully the enemy doesn't, uh, what are, okay, your militia, you guys are the same. I've said this before, it'd be really nice if the, if the unit flags or icons were a little bit more clear as to what the units are, especially because you have to zoom out on a lot of this. Especially these incredibly large battles. Why are you guys with your cannons further back? That's that's really weird to me. Okay, I don't I wasn't paying attention to this flank, but I mean that's good. Let's see if we can can we can we move up like so and then you guys move up over here and then you three can move over like so we have more guys fleeing go fill that hole that is perfect over here we have melee and we have more melee okay and then oh no you're going to don't don't fire do not fire into into them. Nope, nope. Do not fire grape shot into them, please. No, you're not the same unit. Okay. And then you guys captured perfect. Run back now, please. And then run back. Okay. We we badly need over here we we probably have a little bit of a like gap and that's why the British charged over there. And then I don't know really what's going on over here. We'll probably actually put those guys to protect that flank. And then need you guys to retreat out of there, please. And then, okay, you guys are getting smashed. So that's probably, probably not do what we're doing right now. 
And then I need you to move up. And then let's have this flank sort of reform the line. You guys can also reform the line up here. Move you guys up on this flank. You behind over here. Push up, push up. And then... Okay, we lost another artillery crew. Are they gone gone? I don't see them anymore. They might be gone gone. That would be bad because that's, you know, an entire artillery. See, now these guys can't get back on their cannons. Can they get on the cannons? I don't know. Are these guys the same? No. Are you guys the same? No. Yeah, very, very hard for me to figure out some of this stuff. And then we've got a massive hole in the line over here. Over here, we probably need to shift shift some men over. We have grenadiers in the center that can uh, help protect. Wow. I don't know. This, this, uh, this battle has kind of gotten away from me. We're obviously winning, but our artillery has taken way too many casualties. So... That's, uh, that's not good. And our artillery is really... Like, the lines for the artillery are really weird. Okay, so does that... Does that work? Oh, man, I just figured out how to do that. Okay. In, in the comments, I was told... Sort of how to do it, and I was, I was really unsure. Um, I think it was... I'm going to butcher your name, but Avine or Avines. Uh was kind of giving me a lot of a lot of tips on different videos and I wasn't entirely sure about one of his tips it, it at first it didn't make sense to me okay you guys need to be friends you guys need to fall back a little I don't I don't like your position okay um you're not falling back so that's that's all right over here things are going well we need to start wrapping up this flank I think and actually get at the fort um, because it's just well we, we could continue trying to shatter these units I guess you can see like our line is still terrible our artillery is not not in like a, a good line at all and our infantry like those lines are terrible Okay, where's our supplies? Supplies need to go up to that artillery over there. More shattered units is perfect. More captured units is also perfect. And then, uh, I wonder... Can we just get into a position where we can hit that artillery? Because that would be great. This artillery is in a terrible spot. Let's move up, and then you guys move up. Up, 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 up we go. Keep, keep moving forward. That is, that is the plan. I don't know why you guys are so far back. If we can hit that artillery as it is running away, that would be great. Over here, you know, it's not going great, but it's all right, I guess. <laughs> it's like... It is just kind of one of those things where you're like, ah, I'm not really sure if we're doing doing well. Let's see if we can get a double charge up over here and then move these guys up over onto this flank. You guys out over here. Move you up. And then looks like we are pushing those guys back. I would love to, to crush that artillery right there. Looks like we're causing them to rout. And then... If, if they shatter or fully rout. You know what, let's just, let's just pull back. I think that's good. Good how we've done that over there. So, need need to push up our center by the looks of it. And not entirely sure how I want to go about that. Because the British still have a decent chunk of forces, um, like, kind of randomly around. I guess is the best way to put it. Let's have you you move up. You can you can sort of stop. Let's have you all move up. You move up, and then pull pull you guys forward. 
This is this is a very big, wide battle. Okay, now they're pushing on that flank, so that's interesting. I can't believe over here the British still have stuff going on. Let's see if we can move you guys forward and have you guys plug into that gap. And then just grab a line of infantry to go behind them. Somebody surrendered. Where are you? Perfect. That was weird. They tried to charge in. Okay. So let's move this artillery up and grab this. Looks like this flank is doing fairly well. And then we could start start moving up over here. So I think what I would like actually is this artillery to be more with them. And then you guys could be sort of a second line. And then over here we could move you guys up. And then over here move this artillery forward. I don't know if that's the greatest idea, but that's what we're doing. Over here, looking things are looking like they're all right. Uh, there's there's a lot of British over here, but we are pounding them into oblivion. Let's grab these prisoners, put them over here. Make sure you're doing a good job. These this artillery crew doesn't want to get back on. So your job is a prisoner duty. Not that that's an actual thing in this game. But um, that's that's going to be your job, is take care of the prisoners, and then we'll continue pushing forward, trying to trying to clean this up. There's a lot of British left on the battlefield, so we we do need to be a little bit careful. Once again, the line the line is not pretty in this scheme, and really unfortunate. I feel like I'm being a little bit negative in this in this video, but. The, the very beginning deployment zone really, really irked me. Um, took a lot of maneuvering around to try to get my guys into, like, any form of, like, a, a good, good order. Let's, let's see. Over here, we really need to take these cannons out. And I'm not entirely sure how I want to go about that. Because there's a lot of infantry left over here. And I feel like maybe our artillery needs to actually move up, maybe leapfrog that unit. That might be a good idea. And then you guys could move up just a tad. And then... Okay, looks like they're retreating away. So I, I could probably rush the artillery. So let's, let's grab some fresh units. And we'll... We'll push this artillery forward too, and then I think what we're going to do is have you guys charge in, and you guys charge in, and then this artillery here does not need to be really where it is. So we'll... okay, this is turning into like a giant grand battery over here, so I guess that's what we're doing right now, is creating the grand, grand battery. We have we have Napoleon somewhere in our in our army. So that was a lot of like mass surrendering right there on the AI's part. So that's really good to see. And then over here, didn't I tell you guys to move up? And then another another surrender. So that's that's actually perfect. That's let's get all these guys back and then what we need to reform our army. This is this is actually kind of a mess. We need we need artillery deployed elsewhere. And then if we can if we can do something like place artillery batteries over here, and then let's just have you guys screen that artillery for the time being. Bring all of our prisoners down. Oh god, we still have all of this. Yeah. I, I could imagine I mean this is a little overwhelming for me. I couldn't imagine how overwhelming it is for, you know, somebody who's not used to games like this. Um, and as I said, making it a retro, though, it's probably too late in the development that, like, let's be real. 
I sometimes I say stuff and I know that it's not going to change because just so where the game is in the overall development. And they probably won't change it to regimental, but man, regimental would make so much more sense for this game than what they're than what they have right now. So let's see, okay, I don't really want you guys going around like that, so you'll move up over here. Where's this supply wagon? Can you move up over here? And then... Okay. Over here. Let's, uh, let's push forward. Probably do something like in, in depth. And then grab you, move you up. Have you guys sit behind the cannons. And then we need another grand battery. So, how's, how's this going over here? Let's have this artillery move more like so. You'll sit behind them. And then we'll probably speed things up, you know, just a little. As we try and get this army in somewhat of a formation. They're pushing on that flank. Which is interesting. So we need to we need to, you know, take advantage of that. Our men are in terrible positions. So let's let's push our guys into position. Grab you all, move you up. Grab more more guards. I haven't really used the guards. They're a little expensive, so sometimes it's, you know, not worth using them in a battle like this when you have so many other men. Shattered, surrendered. I don't see those guys that surrendered. There they are. Okay, and we are still on a high speed. I just realized that. Alright, pull those guys in. Let's see if we can, can continue pushing up. This is looking a little bit better. It's not fantastic by any stretch of the imagination, but I do think it looks a little bit better. And then, let's see, you guys could try and move up beyond over there. And then you'll have support on this flank already in place. And let's go back to speeding things up just a little. That supply wagon is a little bit strange. Those guys shattered. How's our great um, prisoner? Look at all those dead red coats over there. Holy cow. That is that is pretty insane. All right, can we can we like hit them into oblivion? That didn't sound like good English. Part, part of the channel. Terrible English. Alright, move you guys up. How's this? This grand battery looks fine. Move you guys up. Really hard to, to get your army looking like something of an actual army. I mean, just look at this artillery. Like, what is it? What is this artillery doing? So I think if we move you guys over here... We could have... I feel like I hear melee combat. No, it's just the sound effects of the game. Okay. That's... that's fine. Let's have you guys move up a little bit more. Have this artillery move up more like so. You guys move up. I really feel like there's melee. But it's just how the... how the sounds of battle go, I guess. So it's, wow, that's, look at where my cursor is versus look at where the line is in that. That's, uh, that's pretty off. I don't know why it's so off. Um, okay, British kind of sallying out, sort of. Looks like my artillery is stuck on a barn. That seems to be something that happens a lot. There we go. Un unstuck, they teleported through the barn. There's the great prisoner. A prisoner wall. Let's move you guys up. There's a case of that crisscrossing. 
more crisscrossing. I mentioned that. I guess that's just like a long standing issue that all the games have had. And it's. I, I guess I just was really lucky in the last update that it never happened. So when it started happening all the time on this update, I guess it was just luck based. I'm starting to feel like I might be the most unlucky person alive though because I keep getting told that everything that happens to me in this game is based on luck and I'm like okay if I go and have a doctor's appointment and they're like you need this to live there's a 90% chance of success I'll be like uh I'll take the 50% chance of just dying without the <laughs> medical thing um for for what it's worth I don't have I don't have a medical thing coming up um Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Great prisoner exchange. You you guys are over here. And then I'm, I'm still on a, a faster speed. Okay, there's some more prisoners. That's great. And I feel like I just need to continue pushing forward a little. So, like, these guys could push up over here. And once they're pushed up and in position, I'll push the artillery up. And then, once they're up, we can push, like, you guys up. And now we can push this artillery that is in a very strange position up, and they want to crisscross. That's always wonderful. And there goes the mass enemy routing. So, I need to have all of you guys stop what you're doing. And we need to... Wow, they are... They are running forward. Okay. Do not... Do not fire. Let's try and get mass surrenders from the enemy. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Get into them. Don't... No, don't let them escape. Don't let them get through. The British are finding holes. Move up, move up, move up. Don't... Don't fire. Okay, more. Great, great, great. We Some got through. Charge, charge. No, no, no. We have artillery firing somewhere. I need the artillery to not fire. I thought I already turned the artillery off. Or put it on hold fire. However you want to word that. Okay, you guys charge in over here. Need you guys to charge the artillery need you guys to charge this artillery help out and then I think that was an insane amount of surrenders on the enemy's part here we just have a couple couple left get all of these all of these guys that was a big big battle we took a lot of damage in that battle all right I think I think we have captured everything. Holy cow! That was a massive battle, guys. Absolutely massive. Probably taking up most of the footage on this. So we had 7,010 men. We lost five guns. Oh no, did I forget to reman a gun somewhere? I thought I did good on that. Uh, 5,137 men. So we nearly had 2,000 more men and 20 more guns than they did. Um, casualties not as bad as I thought it was. Wow, that was a lot of captured men. That's that's perfect. Let's take a quick peek at efficiency. Um, so Aiden Alden Baker. Oh, that is ours. Oh man, that sucks. Look at that guy's name, Sassery Miles. It's not as good as last episode, but um, we we definitely had probably the greatest name of the episode last last episode. But overall, I think that was a pretty good battle. All right, interception of merchant ships plus seven textiles. Always good. Um, okay, so over here, this is where things get a little interesting because I would like to capture as much of these guys as possible. Um, as far as loyalty goes, that's all looking good. And yeah, so we just need to capture as many as possible. And then, oh, wow, they must have had a lot of surrenders because no, 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 don't come out, don't come out. Go, go into Fort St. Chambly. We're not really in the position for another battle. We are so, so depleted. 
Okay, looks like looks like they they backed off. So that is that's perfect. We'll probably need to move some guys down to Fort St. John's protect that a little bit better. Um, there's lots of supplies to be captured over here and probably just do a lot of joining garrison. Fort St. John Blee and Fort St. John's, well actually Fort St. John Blee is only a one star fort so that's really, really disappointing but it's better than Burlington being our, our front line so I guess there's that going for it, I think. Okay, so who is, who's over at Hubbardton? Is that, okay, yeah, yeah. That's those militia. Okay, all of you guys join up over here, and then I'll figure out we probably need to move some of these guys down to Fort St. John. And then Arnold, you don't need to join the garrison. So let's have you guys move over here, and then turn the vibration off on my phone so you guys don't hear that. Hopefully you didn't anyways, shouldn't pick it up on the mic unless I'm talking, but that was a pretty awesome battle. I'm amazed that uh, Portsmouth has not been attacked in that time. Our fleet is doing well. We'll probably need to recover. I wanted to take that because that was just way too large of a force um, threatening that, and Burlington is not a good area to have multiple men in. That is absolutely for sure. I really need uh, a church in there. Oh, printing press. Printing press would be really good. I'm going to start queuing up the printing press, and I'm probably going to use... What can Fort St. Chumbly have, by the way? Fur Trader's House, Blacksmith House, Church. We'll probably always have this this garrison. So let's start with the Fur Trader's House in Fort St. Chumbly. But I'll probably do something like boost... Eh, point two is not terrible. I was going to say I could use an officer to boost the, the production over there. I don't know if I have any boosting right now. I don't think so. It doesn't look like it. So that's, uh, we have tons of construction materials too. So we probably need to look at our construction management and we are building a crap ton. You can see plus one building there, building over there. We're max over here. Let's try logistics once more in these two zones. See if that make some make some make some work uh, i was struggling with the wording right there i do need more provisions because our army is getting larger so let's put some provisions out over there and then that's you know tons of our money and tons of our resources as far as our stock uh the french gave us a thousand charlevis that was really great we have tons of brown besses virginia 76s civilian muskets tons of u.s muskets um, good amount of short brown besses, some hunter rifles, cannons. We should have probably captured a bunch. So tons of three pounder gallopers. I like that. That's a ton of six pound field guns. We'll probably integrate those in. We have we have a ton of twelve pounders from the ships that we sold that sell a bunch of furs. We don't need that many. Oh, we have tons of provisions, but we have a huge army, so it's kind of necessary. I don't want to sell the textiles actually right now because we are repairing our ships. I'm not really sure about that. As far as uh, wood, I like to go down to about 60 and 40 on a lot of these, and then like 50 and 50 for iron and copper. And the auto sell feature isn't, it's, it's not really an auto sell, but it does make it nicer. Like you set it to auto sell down to that amount, so then you just press sell and it goes to the amount that you set. So that's that's quite nice in that regard. Wow, we have tons of tons of ammunition, and then here's all of our ships in storage that we don't need anymore. And then some of them are worth quite a pretty penny, so we'll probably, you know, sell those off, and I think that'll be absolutely fantastic. As far as building uh building out our arsenal, that's looking fine. I don't even know if we need to continue building six-pound field guns at the moment. That's um that's definitely something to look at. But Fort St. Chumbly has way too many men, so we probably need to move... Can this... That can't even fit... We should probably move even more men down to, like, Fort Frederick, Ticonderoga. We probably need to secure uh, Saratoga later, too. So what do we have here? We have five Fusiliers. We don't need that many Fusiliers, that is for sure. Let's 
bring it down to two so you guys can get out of there and you guys can go down to we, we probably need these guys down on the southern frontier so actually let's let's take them to Fort Frederick and Ticonderoga to start and then that's still too many men over here so we'll probably grab one of these militia and then once once those guys clear out a little we'll we'll see no no do not move toward the british what are you doing okay now you're moving maybe weren't you guys part of the group i told to go down to fort ticonderoga feels like it does that quite a bit over here i like i like willpower a lot but firearms is okay but I don't know. Assault course always seems to be a good one. Stats are just good in this game. Uh, so I was explained by this one that... Oh, engineering research speed. Oh, okay. That's, that makes more sense. I had another one that was kind of like this before. And I think it was like 10% uh, cheaper resources to purchase. So Polish-Lithuanian military engineer Andrew... Thaddeus Bonaventure Kajushko. What a name! Andrew Thaddeus Bonaventure Kajushko. I think I pronounced that as well as a terrible person like myself with pronunciation can pronounce. Sailed for America to take part in the American Revolutionary War as a colonel in the Continental Army. An accomplished military architect, he will help in the design and construction of state-of-the-art fortifications. Perfect. Oh, I also want to point out I think I gained like 200 rep from our fleet conquering the British. I mean, there are, these, these are new. These British ships over here are new. We wiped out the entire, entire coast. And I think it was like over 200 rep. So this is where we're sort of sitting at, at the moment for a rep and 12 pound field guns are about to pop. I think it's time to stop producing uh let's go to 16. yeah uh, i don't know i always say like this stop producing and then and then i regret it so this go assault course over here i love that units actually level up now that's absolutely fantastic uh there's no manpower up here so it's going to take a while for these units to really re regroup or uh, recuperate i guess that's a better way to say it recuperate um we do have a thousand guys over here we do have four basically fusiliers and cavalry over here i would like to build another cavalry regiment i think that would be really good we apparently have tons of officers now i've been i mean we have like universe it's not universities colleges like all over the place and we can build up the universities in a lot of places i feel like we've done a really good job building up our infrastructure i'm actually really okay with this now if they want to sit you know 3600 men over there and we keep this will probably go northwards of 3000 when it um when it's all said and done meaning i probably need to look into moving more men again but these guys these guys are going to go down to fort montgomery and we're going to actually prepare for the new york theater to be honest and then kind of keep like shell armies over here so we'll probably keep like two regiments at fort st john we'll probably pair this down to four like two fusiliers two regulars because i think that'll be great and then we might keep the supply wagon up here so what is that that was the 12 pounders very cool i don't know what to do anymore i've heard people like their howitzers so maybe maybe we'll try howitzers i don't know i like my i like my grape shot a lot getting going down to 10 inch land service mortars might be what i want to do i don't know that tree is not as important to me as the other trees um i mean we're what like one year two months into the game and i feel like i've really grabbed all of the tech that actually matters and that's because with the with the fleet aspect of the game the naval aspect of the game you just grinding rep is insane i mean it's going to take forever to rebuild our fleet or repair our fleet but this fleet will take on just about anything now that the british have so i think this might actually be a good place to stop the episode i actually don't know what the timer is on this episode at the moment 
Um, I, I had to really figure out the deployment zone in that last battle because it was such a mess. But that'll be it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, comment, subscribe. All of that YouTube jazz greatly helps out the channel. I love reading your guys' comments. You guys know that I engage with you. Um, I haven't shouted out this out for a while, but if you guys do want to talk to me or like join a Discord, see if I want to play a multiplayer game of any sort. I have tons of games in my library. Um, there's a link to my Discord in the information below. Um, you know, it's not a super heavy traffic Discord. There's not a lot of things going on, but you know, hopefully in the future it'll grow just like the channel is growing. Woo, little bit of a movement there. But that is it for today's episode. So as always, guys, until next time.